do it for six months mm -hmm. and then let's measure ROI there. And we actually like see, hey, I'm a new technician recently graduated. Are you hiring and do the training program? And then you got the other one look, relocating to Indianapolis. Yeah. Do you have opportunities? I'm 20 years in the field. Mm -hmm. So what we encourage our clients is to be open to both. Just get on a call with them. Yeah, I, I look at it this way. And I, I love that if, if you spent, um, you know, a thousand, a thousand dollars a month okay, and doing this, which I, I would tell my people do this, mm -hmm. like I already do do this thousand dollars a month doing it and you don't get anybody for 12 months. So you spent $12,000, mm -hmm. but you get one in 12 months. I mean, you know, we, we get one. What does that one tech make you? Right. What does that make that company in a year? And yep. In our case, the, the lowest case, you know, it's, you know, about $350,000 a year. Mm -hmm. That, that they've they've made you it's yeah. worth the twelve thousand dollars right hey, hey hey plumbing pros welcome to the 365th episode of potty talk hey there i'm your host richard bainey the million dollar plumber along with my co-host the lovely laura where we're talking the business of plumbing how to systemize stylize and monetize your plumbing business and hey we i've been looking forward to this episode as mm -hmm. well we have another power tools episode mm -hmm. here and uh hey if you've been thinking about how do i make my phone ring all right, th this is what you don't want to miss this episode of Potty Talk Live. Absolutely. We have Mr. Lauren Saderoff, mm -hmm. Google expert mm -hmm. and big shot with Search <laughs> Kings. I know he likes to want to call him a big shot. <laughs> <laughs> he's a humble guy. He doesn't mm -hmm. think of himself as a big shot, but he's a big shot. Mm -hmm. All right. With uh, Search Kings, a Google premier partner. Mm -hmm. All right. And they're all about, uh, they, they, they know all about the, the you know, that, that uh, pay, you know, pay per click, -click and LSAs, LSAs all, all, all the that Google kind things. Of, all, all those those letters, mm -hmm. <laughs> all the Google letters. All right. <laughs> hey, we'll have him on the moment in, in, in on a moment here. He's waiting in the green room. We'll bring him on. But first, Hey, let me, um, let me first uh, thank our sponsor here. Give our, our sponsor a mention. We Absolutely. have service Titan. Love service Titan. Okay, are you looking to grow your revenue and overall profitability? Well, that's a stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I asked you that question. Well then service Titan, the world's leading all in one software for residential plumbing companies is the business power tool for you. Service Titan automates your company's day-to-day -day scheduling, dispatching and billing systems to improve efficiency and profitability, all right? The, these essential power tool uh, with, for plumbing companies makes it easy for techs to provide Mrs. Jones options and invoicer on-site, very important, from a mobile tablet. Plumbing companies that use Service Titan see a 15% revenue increase on average year over year. With actionable analytics, providing the insights you need to make better business decisions and an amazing customer experience with automated communications, you'll be asking yourself, why haven't you used Service Titan sooner? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Don't believe the hype. Just ask Potty Talk listeners who have made the move to Service Titan. Not only have they saved thousands by eliminating time spent on profit-sucking manual tasks. I was like, you don't like those profit-sucking <laughs> manual tasks. But they now have scalable processes in place to help grow their business for years to come. So check them out. And to take advantage of special discounts for Potty Talk listeners, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash service titan, or just go to themilliondollarplumber.com site mm -hmm. and go to the power tool section. Absolutely. And Find check them out there. there all okay. right. Mm -hmm. And as always, plumb like a champion. Mm -hmm. There we go. Service titan. All right. Hey, let's get Mr. Lorne Sederoff in here. Mm -hmm. Bring him on here. All right. Thanks, guys. Good to be here with you as always. Hardly a big shop, but just... Uh, yeah, you, you are. Know, grinding away on uh, Google marketing and making sure uh, Search Kings is dominating. Perfect. All okay. right, then. We're good. Oh. Oh, all right. So you've got a million questions for Lauren, babe. I know. I was looking forward Let's to it. it. I finally had this time and there's mm -hmm. so, much, so much I wanted to ask. Because it's Cause so it, important. This is a big deal. The whole mm -hmm. Google thing with our clients... And uh, just it's a concern with with any business, mm -hmm. and certainly with with plumbing businesses. You know, making the phone ring. You know, Google advertising, all that kind of stuff. So, so it's a big deal. So there's so so many different directions it could have gone, but we only have so much time. Right. So I want to get down. You know, down mm -hmm. to the, the point important here, stuff. Important stuff. So, but I thought I'd start with Lauren, since we have you here. What what you know? What's any kind of new trends or or developments that that you're seeing with uh, with Google? Yeah, for sure. I think you know, giving some thought to to your clients and, and what's would be most valuable. I think the first thing to think about with Google specifically is you can use Google for a, a few different things specifically. One is leads. So when you need leads, that's, you know, we, and, and we can dive into it, but that's where your Google local services and your pay-per-click on the search side, right? Someone actually needs you now. Mm 
In addition to that, what Google offers is on the display side is really your branding. So Google has leads, Google has branding, and then Google has actual uh, transactions. Um, so leads, Google local, pay-per-click, make the phone ring. We need that. Mm -hmm. The second one is the branding. And you guys are huge with branding and mm -hmm. the importance of recognition in the community. It brings down your cost per lead because people know you. So they're going to look you up by name and now you're mm -hmm. not paying for those leads. Right. Mm -hmm. And so using the branding has been very successful. You know, how many years your company has been in business? What's your value proposition, your family owned, your star rating, and then taking those value props and putting banners on websites that your audience visits. So an example might be someone's doing research online. They're reading a blog on a water heater for example, and they're trying to figure out, should they swap out their water heater? That's the research phase. So it's higher in the funnel. What we then do is we put our clients banners right on that web page, And that banner talks about, you know, a free install quote, or, you know, call us, we're local. And just to, to clarify, that banner isn't fixed to that website. It's following around the user. So Google recognizes the user's history and says, this is a person looking at home improvement, doing research on their water heater. We're going to then show our ads in that spot for them in that moment. And so branding becomes a big play here at a pretty inexpensive. Expensive. Um, yeah, it's yeah. inexpensive. It's, it's a few hundred bucks a month for thousands and thousands of eyeballs. Mm -hmm. um, compared to, one, sorry, Lauren, compared to pay-per-click, right? Because pay-per-click can get to search for a oh, water yeah. heater per click. You know, that can get really expensive. Oh, for sure. Or, you know, to do a commercial, to brand your, you know, to do a paid commercial on TV. Oh yeah. <laughs> is, you know, and who's your audience? Everyone, the seven-year-old watching, you know, cartoons doesn't make sense. So Great point. that yeah. display banner is really, you focus it on the intent audience. <laughs> Um, and then the same thing goes for video. So what we're monitoring and really adopting our basic premise is be ahead of the curve. That's what we do. We want to always be, uh, you know, stealth. And so we test and test and test. And once we prove that, yes, this is what we would do if we were owning that plumbing business mm -hmm. and can we dominate it, then we start introducing it to our clients and video has been a big part of that. So mm -hmm. YouTube is in the Google network. So you run through Google to place your commercial on YouTube. So all your analytics, all your insights are available to you in the Google ads platform to see how many people are seeing this, how many people are skipping it. And what's really interesting guys is YouTube TV is exploding with viewership. Really? Everyone with their smart TVs. Mm -hmm. So what we create are these 15 second non-skippable videos that highlight the company as local, highlight their value prop, same thing as branding, and then put them on for like a few hundred dollars a month. They're getting thousands of eyeballs in that space. Mm -hmm. So then there's a couple call to action. One, you put the phone number and are people going to actually call it? Maybe. So now you know how many calls you got from that branding campaign. But what we'll also look at is how many visits to your website are you now getting? because you become that local name. Right. And our whole thing is like, act big, be big with right. branding. If right. it's cheap, because then you don't have to pay as much for pay-per-click to for someone who's never heard of you before. Mm -hmm. that, so that That's I, sort of what's going on. There's one more we'll get into after, but for now, I want to kind of think about it as branding inexpensively. Mm. And any, any plumbing company can play that game. Yes. They just can, right? You, know, it, it, you don't have to be this big company. Um, back when we had our plumbing business, it was all TV, right? We spent around 30K a month in TV ads. And you're right. We were playing them to seven-year-olds that you know, may have been outside of our our um, our service area right. as well because it, it just casts such a wide net, right? Um, so this is, why don't we have a plumbing business? That would be so much it's easier. so easier today. <laughs> <laughs> but that's... Yeah, that's the, that's the beauty of it. Again, I mean, you just can do a, a night and do you guys do the video? That's what I was going to ask. Do you guys yes. produce the video or how's that work? So there's a couple different ways of thinking about video. One is you hire a local company for, you know, three, four grand 
they come in and they take action shots of your truck rolling out of the out of the shop right. of your office staff on the phones that whole local look if a company has those videos or makes them great we take that and we're going to go insert that into youtube you can actually break up the video into sequences so that the customer seeing it, the audience can actually see 15 second mini stories. Mm. Of the first 15 second one might just be about your brand. The second one might be about how do you know when it's time to for an inspection? What are the signs of a problem? The third one might be all about the water heater. Let's say, for example, you show the first one 70 percent of the time. You show the second one a little bit less and the third one less. Oh. And you're just creating an awareness campaign. So if they have videos, great. if they want to make them, great. We go back to their YouTubes. Sometimes we find these like cheesy videos from five to 10 years ago. Those will work. We'll test them. Like mm -hmm. no need to make an investment. You're not, you're not auditioning for Hollywood here. Right. Right. Your audience isn't expecting this to be this perfect scene that you spend Slick. 40K on high def. Like Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is we create videos that are templated. So we basically grab all their stills, any footage that they have, and we align those into a video sequence with their brand, with their value prop and build those for our clients pretty inexpensively. Mm -hmm. Well, those work too even three or $4,000 to invest in that, to have um, a, a film company or, you know, a, somebody come out right. to record those shots. Like you talked about. Um, yeah. Three or $4,000 is three or $4,000, but that lives forever. Right. I mean, that, that never goes out of style. You can do lots of different things with all the different shots. So that is, that is a really inexpensive way to get your brand out. Pennies on the dollar. Pennies, too. pennies, pennies. I love that. That mm -hmm. is guys yeah. listen up to that. Cause I, that that's a differentiator as well. And that, that can help you, the small business, the small plumbing business owner compete against the big guys. Play as a big guy. Right. Yep. hundred exactly percent. Right. We also, when we make these branding uh, banners, let's say, right. That are offered, like some of our banners talk about hiring and we'll talk about that after, but just to get the message into the community that ABC plumbing is hiring sends a very strong message that you're doing well. Yes. And thus you are making customers happy. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're essentially you're letting everyone know they should trust you too mm -hmm. with a hiring campaign. Mm -hmm. And then we take that and we give it back to our customers to say, just go post this on your Instagram. You don't need to pay for that. You just go and post it. We've already created the assets. So you may as well leverage them elsewhere, post it, it on everywhere. your Google maps page, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. See, that's a, I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I love the, you know, let's talk about it now, now hiring, because yeah. that's a, that's a big issue. Right. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's a big, that's a big concern as well. And I love that you made the point because I, I believe that's how we looked at it. It was so true. It's not a negative to, that right. customers know that you're hiring. Right. It's a positive. It does imply that we're growing. That you've got good things going now. You know, you want to speak that way in, in the ad. You know, right. um, but we tend to look at it. That's a, the, the customers would think that. Uh, oh, we don't have any plumbers. I'm losing guys, or right. you don't have plumb. Right, that kind of a thing. It's exact. But it's, it's the opposite. That's a more scarcity mindset as right. opposed to an abundance mindset. Yeah, right? yeah, a hundred percent. Our approach with hiring is pretty much we use the branding mentality and the search um, on the Google search. So both sides. So on the branding side, what we'll do is we'll get a picture of the text. <laughs> we'll get a picture of their brand. And we'll create a hiring banner that has two to three benefits of working for that company that we can actually put into the ad. So is there a signing bonus? Is there on-site training? Is there a company truck? Give me two or three things that you're willing to put in writing mm -hmm. that can be promoted. Okay. Mm -hmm. And once we get that from our clients, we build the banners in a bunch of different sizes so they can show up everywhere. And now we're showing that again to an audience that Google has determined are in market for a job. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. On the search side, the plumber who is already uh, licensed, if they need a license in that state or coming out of school, they're going to do searches like plumber job salary in, let's go back to your, your home base in Indianapolis, mm -hmm. right? 
So when you actually look at the search page, and I encourage everyone, you know, in your market to do that search, just do the kind right. of search words that someone would look at salary, jobs, openings, plumber, you know, license, et cetera. Mm -hmm. What you'll see is that it's pretty much impossible for an individual to talk to a business in real time because the Indeeds and the zip recruiters and the glass doors and all these aggregators are basically designed to get your information. Mm -hmm. So they, you have to go into one of them, fill out all your personal information, expose yourself to that, to LinkedIn or to whoever that right. you're looking and include your resume. So then that gets pushed out to a whole bunch of companies that are paying for a certain number of resumes a month. Right. Right. Maybe that person just wants to talk to the company to find out what's actually going on at this one company. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we create search ads that show up above ZipRecruiter and, and uh, all of these aggregators because we're bidding specifically on the plumber job, plumber technician salary. So specific right. keywords. So we're not showing up for all sorts of jobs, right? And then when our ad appears, it includes benefits right in the ad copy. So why should they come work for you? What's yeah. the differentiator, right? right? Exactly. Yeah. And then what we make sure is when that ad is clicked on and these clicks, you know, you guys always want to know the ROI. These right. clicks are probably five bucks, let's say. <laughs> okay. Generally. I mean, we do this in a San Antonio market that's bigger <clears throat> where, where a lead for a plumber there, a click for, you know, uh, drain cleaning, right, is $30 a click maybe. For a job click, you might be at four or five bucks. Mm -hmm. So now they come through this click at five dollars. They what we do is we create a custom hiring landing page that sits on their website or on a website that we host mm -hmm. that specifically identifies now more than two or three benefits, six or seven or eight benefits. Okay, and a phone number and a, 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 a fill in the inquiry box that don't require resumes. It's basically, give us your name, give us your cell phone number and any other notes you want to share, click send. Mm -hmm. And the phone number, we direct straight to hiring managers. Mm -hmm. So what we realize is we're getting live calls in the moment from a plumber looking for a job for our, com our clients. And they're the only one on the entire page in a major market. Mm -hmm. Wow. At like, five, six, 800 bucks a month. Mm. And when we talk to our clients about what's your acquisition currently cost you, what does it cost you to find a technician, get them trained up and get them out in the field? It's eight, 10 grand. Sure. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And they'll go make you a hundred. Mm -hmm. Great. But it's going to cost you the first 10 to get them in the door. Mm -hmm. So what we basically say is, okay, let's do it for a thousand bucks a month and let's see how many we can get in the first six months. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that, we say do it for a season, do it for six months, mm -hmm. and then let's measure ROI there. And we actually like see, hey, I'm a new technician, recently graduated. Are you hiring and do the training program? And then you got the other one, look, relocating to Indianapolis. Yeah. Do you have opportunities? I'm 20 years in the field. Mm -hmm. So what we encourage our clients is to be open to both. Just get on a call with them. Mm -hmm. Right. Talk to yeah. everybody. Well, exactly. I love that, Lauren, mm -hmm. because it's, you know, that's what we teach. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I look at it this way and I, I love that. If, if you spent, um, you know, a thousand, a thousand dollars a month. Okay. And doing this, which I, I would tell my people do this. Mm -hmm. like I already do do this a thousand dollars a month doing it and you don't get anybody for 12 months. So you spent $12,000, mm -hmm. but you get one in 12 months. I mean, you know, we, we get one. What does that one tech make you? Right. What does that make that company in a year? And yep. In our case, the, the lowest case, you know, it's you know about three hundred fifty thousand dollars a year mm -hmm. that that they've they've made you. It's yeah. worth the twelve thousand dollars. Right. That's, yeah, that's, that's the first money. concept that we right. try to establish. And once we get there, our second one is that phone call can't go in to the office manager who's busy rescheduling a visit. Yes, it's got to right. go to either the owner, you know, the the hiring manager, HR, whoever's whoever is fostering that, because we'll listen to the call and the person answering the phone doesn't know the job description. Right. So we're like, okay, right. we got to pause this campaign. We got to reroute it to the right person. It's not her fault answering the phone. Mm -hmm. She wasn't trained. Right. Right. So 
mm-hmm. we take those calls very seriously, listen to them, make sure they're going to the right person. Um, you know, sometimes they get even more specific. They are they need an HVAC and a plumbing and electrical. We then find one of the three. Now we turn off that section and only go looking for the electrician, let's say. So mm-hmm. it's a pretty good opportunity here for you guys, um, yeah. you know, definitely for your for your listeners to be in that space at a pretty low number. Yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I, I would say sign on. With that. Yeah. Like we're talking, we want to talk about making the phone ring mm-hmm. with cus- paying customers, which is extremely important. Mm-hmm. And we get into that and search, search Kings is great at that. Um, but there's this also element of, we, we're also looking for our other, what we call our, our second asset for our plumbing business, our plumbers, right. you know, which is extremely important. And so this, this is extremely important. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, topic here. Mm-hmm. I didn't, didn't expect it to, to veer into this, this direction here. Yeah. And but, you want to be, um, you, um, lots of, lots of, what do you call it? Fishing poles in the line, in the water, you lines, lines, lots lots of lines, lines in, in the water, water right? Yeah. Do, do as much as you can. It's not, it's, it's never with recruiting. It's never a one-stop shop. This is the thing that's going to save me. I'm putting all my eggs in this basket. That is not how to recruit not right. by any stretch. Exactly. So you want to be everywhere. All right. Hey, I have something for you. We'll get back to, uh, to Lauren here in just a moment here, but for you listening, um, I have a, a free gift for you. It's my million dollar plumber blueprint. All the specs you need to know to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. It's all in there. And did I mention it's free? I don't know. It's free. Okay. All right. <laughs> Simply go to the million dollar plumber.com. All right. And click the link to uh, the blueprint mm-hmm. or can we just type free? Uh, no, you can't, no, you can't do anymore. that. Or can we go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash free? You absolutely All right. You're can. the techie person. You All go. right. So there, there we go. There's some <laughs> options. Bottom line, go grab your free copy of the blueprint. So there we go. All right. Let's get back to Lauren. Lauren, what, what do you think about, I mean, this is dangerous. I'm going to ask a question that I don't necessarily know how you're going to come at me, <laughs> but I want, I, but I want your it. honest, I want your honest opinion, even if it's opposite of mine here. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm a proponent of, um, um, of um, geofencing, you know, with, with recruiting. So for example, um, you know, I want the plumbers that are working at, that are already working in these other companies. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we could geofence, you know, way to find those plumbers, you know, so I want ads that let them know that we're hiring, I'm hiring, I'm hiring. So I want to follow them around. So, you know, I want to tag them. Um, You know, so, you know, where the plumber's going to supply house, I want the supply house geofenced. Maybe you can explain that more or, or the certain big, you know, plumbing companies are the ones that I have good service programs and that kind of stuff. I don't, so, um, you can, yeah. um, you know, so I can be tagging mm-hmm. or be, you know, talking to those plumbers. Right. For, yeah. I think that the conversation is there is, is, are you hiring from the, from the unemployment line and the disgruntled people who couldn't make it work elsewhere? And you're going to miraculously train them in a right. new way. Mm-hmm. People develop and grow, but do they actually change their work ethic? Probably not. So I agree with you. We identify what are the pro, what are the zip codes and the and the towns and the areas that we want to up our bids so that we're even dominating more in that market. But getting word out is a variety of things. So mm-hmm. yeah, you target that specific area, but the idea is get them to know about you, right? So people's search history tells us enough about them that we target them best that way. Mm -hmm. Anyone who's doing research on a job, right, is a pretty good audience considering you're paying, you know, let's say it's, you know, thousands and thousands of eyeballs for $100. I mean, even more. So, yeah, you go by the target area, they move around, you go by um, bidding aggressively for people who've been on your site right? And follow them around with a budget. And then a variety of messages in your ads I like, right? It can't just be one message, one banner that they keep seeing over and over again. You know, the happy customer message has to be in there. Uh, Your Google reviews. I I know that when an employee is considering working for ABC, they're going to go check out your Google reviews because are you making customers happy or are you pissing customers off? And who wants to go work in a place where, you know, you're, you're, Shortchanging customers, right? Exactly. Right, yeah, right. we hear that all the time from our. It's clients. full circle. Mm-hmm. Yes. You, got, you yep. have to. You have to be who you want to be, yep. right? You have to act that way. Yes. And then we can. And then we can just, you know, celebrate that in as many ways as possible. A video testimonial is a great little hiring sure. campaign mm-hmm. and a piece, right? 
Yeah, from another technician. Oh, definitely. Yep. Love that. Yep. This okay, is well, what that, it's like to work here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, that was a different um, tag, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which was great. Aggressive. Right. To be yeah, aggressive in that way and inexpensively. I want to ask, let's talk yeah. about some LSAs or Google, um, you know, from a, a marketing standpoint for getting customers. What's some of the latest trends with LSAs or things that um, our, our viewers should be doing when it comes to either LSAs, which is Google local service ads or um, Google my business? Sure. So let's start with Google LSAs. When we first met a number of years ago, yeah. probably four, yeah. what was happening back then is Google introduced flat um, fee, so a flat rate, and it was a race to get in. Mm -hmm. And we did that, right? Let's right. get everyone in. The only metrics we knew back then were basically get your reviews up, okay? Since then, we'll fast forward. Now we know that there's several more metrics. The most important one is responsiveness, which mm -hmm. is the ability to answer the phone and speak to the customer. And what Google's recording is how often your call lasts beyond 30 seconds and how long your call lasts. Mm -hmm. So the actual call duration and responsiveness is a percentage that Google has. And they know how well your company manages phone calls. Search Kings, thanks to partners like you and others, we, as I said before, are stealth. So when Google LSAs came out, we moved quick because we're a PPC company. And since then, we've now accessed more data. So we know the responsiveness number for our customers. We mm -hmm. have that through a Google API. Mm -hmm. So we can see responsiveness. And we can report it out to our customers. I don't know who else is doing that. Um, now what we have, and so that's been for the last year and a half, and it really transformed our management of, of Google LSAs because if a customer drops below a certain number, they basically are being treated like the ugly stepson and moved to the bottom of the line in the directory by Google. Mm. OK, mm -hmm. so when they drop below a certain number, we have to now get them swimming faster and faster so that they can get back up to the um, to the top of the line. Mm -hmm. We also are now measuring some things. And for our existing customers that are listening, just make sure you have access to this and that you've seen it and talk to your account manager at Search Kings. Mm -hmm. There is now impressions, which has always been in place in paper click, but but in a nutshell, what that means is we know how often the ad is serving now, meaning how often is it showing up? And when an ad stops showing up in the past, we basically had to realize it organically. Customer calls us to say, hey, my ad's gone. Where's my badge? Where's my ad? What happened? Right, right, right. And then we would try to basically go through a process of eight steps to figure out, is it budget? Is it payment? Is their license expired, et cetera? Right. Now what we have is automation built that tells us if an account stops serving. And now we can go in and fix that on the same day rather than waiting the three weeks before someone realized it. So mm. we have pride ourselves on, on winning LSAs for our customers, no matter what. And we put the, the staff into it. Um, so we have a team literally every day that goes in and says, these are the accounts that appear to be broken. Here's what we need to do to fix them. Whether it's communicate it back to Google, manage it internally ourselves, or actually speak to the customer because their budget's expired in the moment rather than waiting two, three weeks. So mm -hmm. now what happens is more LSAs start, more leads coming in for our clients. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing that Google's been up to um, is giving more data on the, on the platform, which really drives us to figure out how to win. Um, so that's that. There's, there's a few other things there. Mm. There's integration with CRMs mm. now. So um, Service Titan, Service Titan Worky, Jobber, mm. and House Call Pro. Mm -hmm. um, our work in that respect is basically if a customer wants to know their ROI. So like we generate the leads and we generate a lot of leads. And so where we sort of take it next step is we can go into their service Titan with their login or do it on a screen share and attribute 
Search King's leads in their system so that their ROI is very clearly defined. So you know how much you're right. making off your Google PPC. And we know Google PPC, as you said, Laura, is expensive. If you're spending three and you're making nine, do you want to spend five to make 15? Of course, right? so all like, day long. Right. Mm -hmm. But if you're spending three and you're making four, we got to know that. And we got to right. probably pause that, mm -hmm. right? Unless there's lifetime value that we can attribute later. Right. Get it so, cleaned up and then. Yeah. So the visibility by using the CRMs or FSMs is helpful for those clients that need to make sure it's working. They're spending big monies on these FSMs in some cases. Sure. Right. So the utilization of it is there's a gap there on how many are using their, their management software to the full extent. So we go in and we want to attribute ROI. Okay. Good. Um, that's what I would say is most recent, um, developments. I'll say one more thing on what's new with LSAs mm -hmm. is it's expanding. If mm -hmm. anyone on the call knows any veterinarians, um, pet boarders, pet groomers, just to go out of the box here, yeah. childcare providers, mm -hmm. we're very interested in talking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The idea is always be first to mm -hmm. market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to be first to market again. So uh -huh. that's what we're working guys. on. Yeah. 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 That's Little side, side right. projects that are yeah. side projects that hopefully uh, yeah. become, you know, bigger than that. Awesome. Yeah. Um, okay. I want to ask you about Google, my business, Google, my business, which is the maps, right. It's still a thing. It's still, it's still important. It's, it's still, there's, is there any new changes, I guess, with, with GMBs? Yeah. So with, with Google, my business, a, there's no monetization of it. So there's no ad platform. So as a result, Google doesn't provide dedicated support and therefore there's no role or there's really no need for an agency to manage a client's Google My Business page. And, you know, your guys' clients are real people with, you know, uh, business talk over the kitchen table, right? It's not a big corporation here that can spend 3000 bucks a month and really not know where it's going. Mm. I would say that there should be no money spent on someone managing your Google, my business for you. You set it up properly. You make sure you're driving reviews that mm. might cost you, mm. right? Incentivizing your staff, whatever you're going to do, mm. but posting those banners that I talked about before you can do yourself or if you're a client of ours, we can upload it. No problem. It's free. It doesn't, it takes no time at all. Mm -hmm. um, responding to reviews. You can write your own. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure, you know, serving you, Marsha. You don't need someone right. to do that for you. Mm -hmm. Responding to negative reviews. Same thing. Be Always. authentic. Spam right. reviews. You know, there's, there's templated ways to respond to those, mm -hmm. but you don't need to pay a company to manage a product that Google doesn't support. So there's no one at Google that you can, that an agency can talk to about their Google, my business page, because there's no ad revenue in it for Google. So they don't right. build a customer support, mm -hmm. um, getting GMBs unsuspended mm. is a pain in the butt, but you're basically relying on experience or going through the front door of Google with their support form that you can Google how to find it. And you just mm -hmm. fill it in. Don't know why my account's down. For what we do is our existing customers were linked to their Google My Business so that the reviews flow in properly to Google LSAs because you want all those reviews counting. Absolutely. And right. then if they have any problem on Google My Business, we we can troubleshoot, but it's their one-offs. There's no monthly rate that you should be paying for Google Maps. Will it merge with LSAs one day down the road? <laughs> they sure look similar. Yeah. The job yeah, types look similar. I have no other information to believe that, but mm. their products are built differently from the DNA because LSA is an ad platform. So it's built out of Google ads. Mm. Is it going to merge with Google My Business? Probably, maybe, maybe not. Yeah. But but the bottom line is there, don't spend money on it. Mm. Save that money for something else. Got it. Uh, I would say the same, mm. frankly, and I, I just to be mindful on anything below the maps, mm -hmm. when you look in a market and you do the searches, and I always say just to do the searches and see where you'd want to be, everything below the maps is your Angie's, your home advisors, mm -hmm. yeah. your all these aggregators. Again, are you going to show up somewhere down there? Mm -hmm. 
And if you are, are you going to pay an arm and a leg for this chance to show down below? Mm -hmm. That's called the SEO space. Right. Five, 10, 15 years ago made sense. Sure. Now Google is only selling real estate, Mm -hmm. right? The, the, the low rent at the bottom here isn't really worth uh, paying big money for. And we prove it by going into Google analytics and all you look at in Google analytics is new visitors to your website. Mm -hmm. Cause it doesn't really matter how many, it's how many new people are coming to your website through organic. Mm -hmm. And that means someone who didn't know your company, but found you. Mm -hmm. And is that worth the monthly amount that you're paying? Right. And you got to think too, how do you search? How do most people search for a plumber or, you know, for a car repair place, right? You're pulling it up and you're looking and it's going to be, you're looking at the ads on top or then you're looking at the map. Rarely do people go down to the organic. So I'll add one thing people when, and we went uh, with Google marketing, we're learning from them. Like as a premier partner, we get to sit sometimes at, well, we could call it the head table. That would be a table of thousands (laughs) because it's Google, but we're in the room. Mm. to say the least, right? We're in the auditorium. (laughs) And in the auditorium, what they're talking about is how often people are going between search and video Ah. to learn. And so someone who's trying to figure out what's wrong with their drain is searching. So let's show them an ad. But when they go over to video to figure out how to maybe do it themselves, that's where we want to be too. Just to bring full circle to the, we want to be in the mindset of the homeowner. Mm -hmm. Love that. And so it's totally different. Yeah. yeah. So it's not just a one again, where it's not, a one and done. It's or, not, yeah. It's not a one and done, mm-hmm. you know, it's, kind of, kind of a thing. It's, yeah. It's, the, the combination is important. The way right. we price it is still a la carte. Mm-hmm. So you put a certain amount to one, let's see if it's working. Do you want to add video after we don't want to get into us? We don't want to be the company that says you have to do A, B, C, and D. And then we start moving money between them. We're very much like Google LSAs is one option. Paper clicks another, videos another, et cetera. Okay. Well, okay. And that that kind of leads right to the the question. Um, what can what can search kings do for my plumbing business? For our plumbing business, right? The the um let me go to one more interesting idea before we kind of say who the ideal customer for us is, is when you start looking at the industry and seeing how many people are shopping for tankless water heaters, as an example. Mm -hmm. or whatever you sell, have a look online at what Google's doing there and selling a water heater online. Okay. Currently is pretty much these online e-commerce distributors. Okay. Mm -hmm. That don't live in the local market and these are shopping ads. Okay. So like Google shopping is a very important priority for Google. Mm -hmm. It competes with Amazon. Right. So when you're on the Google page and you see these shopping ads because the searcher has uh, is searching for a product, they're not searching for a service. They're searching for a product. Google shows shopping ads instead. Okay, what we're working on testing to know if this is a profit maker is do we put our plumbing clients ad in the shopping area? with the product Mm -hmm. details that they're looking for Mm -hmm. as the only local plumbing company in that market that the customer can call. Mm -hmm. And what we're learning in a nutshell is people aren't transacting through those ads. They're going to the shopping cart to see the price. So you show the price, but every disclaimer is subject to on-site estimate because you don't know what you're dealing with on the install. Right. Mm -hmm. But what it does is gets phone calls coming in again. Okay. Mm -hmm. People inquiring, I saw that, you know, it was the Daikin or whatever it was. I have some questions about that. And now you have a lead. So, uh, so what we look at is how many leads can we get through shopping? And most importantly, what's the cost per lead? Yeah. Right. And we're seeing click price clicks Mm -hmm. be very low. Wow. Because there isn't local competition. Mm. So we are, um, Basically, what, the way we manage that is who are early adopters, who are existing clients that are always about what's, what's A, I need leads, right. and B, what's a great way to get leads that's new. Mm-hmm. And so we take them and we go with them with phase one, and then we add phase two. Um, million dollar plumber uh, calls coming in. You guys, uh, we take very good care of your clients. Yes, you so do. we'll be offering it. We'll be, we'll be letting them know what we're up to. 
but I'm letting you know now. And if they want in on that, we can, we can bring them into, into phase two once we know it works, uh, which we're seeing great results. Mm. Awesome. To confirm people are not typically buying it, but they're learning more mm. and it's part of the inquiry phase. So then we yes. capture them. Mm-hmm. And again, super inexpensive. Yes. Love that, Lauren. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So, and we, um, totally makes sense. Yeah. I love I'm just thinking okay. of what I want to talk to my clients now. I'm yeah. sorry. I just kind of went off. I had a little squirrel moment. <laughs> yeah. so I remember myself to tell my clients, do, do this. this. And then, yes. So Lauren, thanks so much. Yes. We certainly appreciate all your great advice um, and and taking your time to be with us today. Yes, love. Um, Thank you. Google's a thing, right? It's how we get it. Yes, and Search Kings is the thing. Yeah. And to check out Search Kings, you can go to the million dollar plumber dot com to our um, uh, power, power tools, tools page. Power mm-hmm. Tools page. Get their link. Mm-hmm. Uh, as Lauren said, they, they do give uh, offer some um, some uh, specials incentives. or incentives discounts mm-hmm. to uh, potty talk uh, listeners as well as mentioned uh, my million dollar plumber clients. Yes. Yep. So take advantage of it. Absolutely. And uh, yes, I will echo. You said uh, Search Kings has taken very good care of our clients and we've, we've had uh, great success. Yes. And I, I appreciate Love your attention team. and taking care of our people. Mm-hmm. And I know they'll awesome. take care of you too. So yeah. thank you. Hey, I want to, I want to bring something, maybe we'll move it around, but the, the, we often get the call. So who's your customer, right? And right. for us, cause you'd ask me and then I jumped into shopping, but basically Customers who need leads are primarily our main customer, but we also have done a great job in the last few years, specifically fostering the, the, the client who doesn't have ad spend yet for leads, and they're just going to build their brand for the next six months to a year with a thousand dollar a month budget mm. that you, that we basically just look at, okay, where else are you putting money? Are you doing flyers? Like where's your ROI on mailers? And we say, let's go a thousand bucks into branding your company and let's see if we can get you leads. Mm. And then we grow to $3,000 a month with ad spend, et cetera. So we, we like, we like taking them from, you know, uh, he, the guy in the truck who's still running in the business, right. for, you know, build and help them build. And then they hire one, two, three. And before you know it, by listening to you, they've, they've grown to, uh, sitting in the big chair. So <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. awesome work. <laughs> yes. Love that. Lauren. We love it. Yeah. All right. Hey, uh-huh. thanks again, Lauren. Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, it's good seeing you. We look forward to seeing you again. Yeah. Thanks for being on potty talk. Thank you guys. Bye. bye. All right. There you go. Mr. Lauren Sateroff, mm-hmm. Google expert mm-hmm. and big shot <laughs> <laughs> with uh, search Kings, a great company. Yeah. Uh, great information. You now he just, yeah. not only did he talk about all the things Google, which is important, but also, um, how to help find, they help find plumbers, which yeah. is, yeah, amazing. Some of the ideas kind that he had. A- yeah. And guys, make sure if you didn't catch all that, go back and listen, because you really have some great ideas about doing the videos and, and brand those branding plays. That's, that was just really genius. So yeah, go back and listen. Well, it covers two important things. Search mm-hmm. Kings can help you cover two important things. Yep. All make right. The make, phone make, ring. Make- and getting plumbers. Getting get plumbers. There all right, go. there we go. And so that's what your business is. So. There, that's right. So mm-hmm. check them out. All right. Hey, something else you need to check out is my Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy. All right. Uh, we, you'll learn more about uh, just what we talked about here, but also other aspects that you need to know to, to grow um, a, you know, a successful, like I say, self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business. Mm-hmm. All right. Check it out. Success Academy. Success Academy. Go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash success. Correct. And we still have the 14 day free trial. So go check it out. We'll, we'll hook you. We swear. Yeah. Grab it while you can. All right. (laughs) 14 day free trial. You can't beat that. Mm -hmm. Do it. All right. There you go. Hey, great. Great Great, episode. Great episode here. Mm -hmm. Thanks again to, uh, to Lauren for for being here. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So as always, I'm like a champion. Bye-bye everybody.